Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. As you can see from the title, this is going to be my beginner's guide to polymer clay cakes. Here are some that I have made in the past. I opted to turn them into earrings, but there is so much you can do with these. The possibilities are endless. They're just so much fun and so easy to make. So I thought I would do a quick guide. As for tools you're going to need, obviously polymer clay. Today I'm going to do um, this marbly white and gray with uh, chocolate on the inside. So obviously you can choose any color of the rainbow. Um, so you can get the exact colors that you want or you can just go get the primary colors and mix them together until you get the colors that you want. You really don't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of colors. Uh, the primaries will do just fine and remember that you can always paint your creations and there are a number of ways to color them. I will be coming out with a video all about um, the basics and just tips and tricks for basic polymer clay work. So. I will put more about that in those videos as well. So these are the colors I'm going to work with today. And uh, you can either use just a regular acrylic roller to roll these out, or if you have a spaghetti flattener, spaghetti machine, whatever it's called. Um, I've seen them also be called clay conditioning machines. You can also use one of those. I'll show you mine now. Here is my machine, and you can see my cat in the background there. This is just a simple Amazon one. It was really cheap, and obviously, like I said, you do not have to have one of these. You can always just use a roller, So, but I wanted to show my machine. I always like to have some alcohol around um, and some cotton swabs, especially if we're working with light-colored clay like we are because it helps to take away any... Uh, residual dust or fuzzies or fingerprints that are real noticeable in your creation. And then obviously you are going to need some kind of circular cutter since we are making cakes. Uh, most of the time people will buy actual circular cookie cutters and that is awesome. I do not have one so I actually use this. It's just um, the cap to an old perfume bottle but it's perfectly round so this is what I use to make my cakes. And then um, obviously there are millions of other things you can do. You can make sprinkles, you can use little polymer fruits. I did not make these, um, I bought these on Amazon. I want to learn how to make these though, to do canes and do a tutorial on that as well. So, But that's a whole nother thing. So um, the possibilities are endless is what I'm saying. So today we're going to get started. And I've already flattened these out. Um, I decided if we look at one of our old ones as a guide, we're going to do, sorry about my nails, by the way. We're going to do this marbly white on the top and side and bottom, and then the center, and then we're gonna have the chocolate where the purple is here. So I made one slice of the marble in this very thick for the top and the bottom. And then I did a thinner slice for what we're going to put in the center there. And then the chocolate I just made a regular so we can put that in there as well. So we need two of the thicker ones. So we can just go ahead and There's our top and bottom, and then we'll need one of the thinner ones. Oh no, that's not going to work. I gotta do another one, that one wasn't good.
That's better. Get rid of that one. And another tool I like to use if they don't come up easy is one of these, help you get it up nice and easy. So there's our thinner one. And then we need two of this one. All right. So we have the basic workings of our cake now, but we will need a side to wrap around here. So I'm going to go ahead and take our marbly white that we have and run it through my roller real quick. Okay, so now we've got the side of our cake along the back here. And what I like to do at this point is take these and just kind of tap the edges down the cookie cutter or whatever cutter you use can sometimes make the edges a little weird so I like to just go around each one see how it has that little rim on it and just kind of flatten it down alright so all of our edges are looking good and at this point we can start building our cake so we can make sure I put bottom layer, one of our chocolate layers, and I see that this one has a big old hair right here so this is when we're gonna take our alcohol and just rub it and there it goes, comes right off so that's why we have alcohol nearby. <laughs> Got it all over my fingers, okay. And then just kind of dry that up a little. And then we're going to go in with our middle layer. Our other chocolate layer. if I can align it. There we go. And then be careful touching the top layer after touching the chocolate. And our final layer on top. So you just kind of pick it up, take off any hairs, and kind of roll it around a little bit, try to adjust it get it so all the layers are pretty even and looking good. That is good. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you can just roll it a little if you choose. Make it as even as you can. looks good to me all right so then we're gonna grab the layer we flattened out earlier and we don't need this much so I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of that off we're gonna take this And our cake here. Okay.
Okay. Check ourselves. Looks good. And then the other side. All right, so we're going to have to do a little bit of touching up here, but we did good. Just roll it up the best you can. And if there's any excess, sorry, realize I was off camera there. Cut off the excess. And then you can either use tools or your fingers to meld those lines and make them look normal. Don't worry about fingerprints right now. We're going to fix that up with our alcohol. I usually just go ahead and use my fingers. Some people will use their tools. You can smudge it with one of these. Anything you have, honestly. You don't have to really have a bunch of tools or be fancy in order to play with polymer clay, and I think that's one of the best things about it. Okay, it's all cleaned up. And at this point, at least for me, my cake's usually pretty warm and um, tacky just from me handling it so much in the last few minutes. So I actually like to put it in the freezer for like six to seven minutes. And it hardens it up a little bit and makes it so that we can come in with our tool here and cut it without the center just kind of gooping down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I pulled it out of the freezer. It's much better now, a little harder, so it should be easier for us to cut. This is when you gotta decide if you just wanna cut it into a whole bunch of different pieces, if you just wanna cut out one slice and have the rest of the cake. I think for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna cut out one slice and hope that I don't make it look too horrifying. So as you can see with it being in the freezer, it just cuts so clean and perfect. It didn't pull down any of the clay and make it dip or anything. So that's why I like doing that. Let's see, half a slice would be here, so... There's our cake. So the next thing I usually do is grab a toothpick. Whoa! And destroy everything on my table, apparently. We're okay. So I usually grab a toothpick. Um, I've also seen people take three of these and tape them together so it's quicker, which is actually a really good idea, so feel free to do that too. 
And you just come in here and if we see how our example cake, where'd it go, has the texture, that's what we're going to do. You just take your toothpick and you add texture. Yes, it takes a while. So I'll fast forward for you. So I cleaned it up again, got rid of some of those last minute fingerprints. And we detailed each bit of it, gives it more of a realistic look. And that is the most basic of basic cakes. Now, obviously guys, it does not end here. Um, there are so many things you can do with these. You can put them, you can make plates and platters out of polymer clay and display the cake on one of those. You can mess with sprinkles, different colors, different flavors, um, icing, glitter. There's just so much you can do. Um, and for inspiration, it's always fun to go on YouTube and watch other people make these and see how they detail them and see what they do with them. So the sky is honestly the limit. Just be creative. Do whatever comes to mind. Honestly, the only limitation is your own mind and your creativity. So I think for this particular cake, I'm just going to make a uh, chocolate icing and put that on there. So I will go ahead and show you how I do that. Okay, so for this I use clay softener. Sculpey sells it. Um, I got this on Amazon. It, it, it's not that expensive. I think it was five bucks for this small uh, one ounce bottle. So what I like to do is get whatever color you're going to use for frosting and knead it and mess with it until it gets really warm and almost like just tacky and so easy and pliable because this process takes a minute and it can be a pain in the butt and it just really helps if you pre-soften it quite quite a bit so um, there are multiple ways to do this I like using the clay softener because um, the mixture at the end is still kind of thick and it looks a lot more like icing to me but we'll have a video further uh, down the road of other ways that you can do this and uh, other styles of this same thing. So I usually just use a piece of foil. You can use whatever you want. And I take our super warmed up clay. And you take your clay softener. and you add it on. The more softener you use, the thinner or thicker it's going to be. And I might use a different tool for this actually. Let me see here. Hold on. Okay, so this little foil chunk was not working out. I went and got an empty paint container and put it in here. And I also added just the smallest little chunk of black clay to make it a little bit darker of a chocolate than what we have in the cake. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more of the liquid stuff. And we are just going to go ahead and stir. I'll fast forward for you.
And that's it, you guys. This is how it turned out. I'm pretty pleased with how the icing came out. Uh, I hope you like the video. Uh, please give it a like or comment, and be sure to subscribe for more crafty videos in the future. And thank you so much for watching.